The Purge Anarchy is a sequel to last year's smash hit, The Purge, which made a lot of money, and you know when a movie makes a lot of money, they have to make another one, and now we get The Purge Anarchy. The Purge last year was one of my worst films of last year. I hated that film, and I was looking forward to this a little bit, but also not looking forward to it. The Purge Anarchy is about five people, one man played by Frank Grillo, then you get a couple one man is played by the guy that was in Devil's Due. Uh, their car breaks down hours before the purge starts and they're looking just to survive the night in Los Angeles. And then another uh, group of people, a mother and daughter, are just looking to survive after, after their home was attacked by people. And the five of them are just trying to survive the night in Los Angeles. What I like about this movie more than the last movie is that it took it up another notch. I think the purge idea in general is a crazy idea. It's a movie that can be done so well and, and be such a crazy movie and the purge just fell flat on its ass with that. Didn't live up to its potential with what it could have done. And I looked at the purge anarchy like this is what they could do now right with having it be outside, a lot more chaos going for it. And I think the purge anarchy was really great and a very surprising movie because I went in this movie with little, 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 little low expectations. The movie has a lot of more chaos going for it, a lot of different purge styles, a lot of people with different personal purge reasons, which I thought were really great. Out of the five, the only person I really cared for was Frank Grillo. He had his personal reasons, and I thought throughout the film, I would trust Frank Grillo with my life. He's a very well-planned out man, and you cared for what he was doing. The four other people, I just didn't really care what they were doing. I could care less if they died. But Frank Grillo, just uh, he was a really great character in here. There's a lot of suspense moments in this movie. A lot of great build-up and pacing. You felt like when it was about to slow down, it just built it right back up. Some of the killing scenes seemed a little fake, but other ones uh, were really intense and fun to watch. Also, some scenes towards the end kind of got weird for me, and it felt like a little bit like it was hostile. Uh, Rip-off at the end, if you've seen in the trailer, there was... Uh, people were bidding to kill people, which is kind of like hostile, but then it turned around quickly and was a lot of fun. Throughout the movie, you thought they were going to go this certain way, but I also liked is that there were times where they took this different route and you didn't expect them to do that, and I really enjoyed that about the film, is uh, you would think that they're going with this way and these people are purging, kind of, but really they have these different reasons, and I really liked that. Overall, I thought the film was really fun, a lot better than the last one. The characters weren't as annoying as the last film. There was a lot more chaos scenes, a lot of different purge styles, a lot of different people purging, a lot more at stake, and just what I wanted to see out of the first one is just uh, just live up to its potential of just crazy moments. And there was a lot of crazy moments in this film, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to go ahead and give The Purge a B. It wasn't the best film, but for what I thought it was going to be, it was a lot better, and I really enjoyed this film. So this is Just Watch This Movies with his review of The Purge Anarchy, the sequel to last year's The Purge, starring Ethan Hawke. And this one stars Frank Grillo and a bunch of other people I don't even know. So comment down below and let me know, would you guys purge if you had the chance to?